welcome back again guys and now we're going to talk about scheduling and time blocking the things that are important so there's a saying that says if it's not in your calendar it doesn't exist and what they mean by that is that if it's not in your calendar chances are it's not going to get done and chances are it's not important so it doesn't exist right we all have to-do lists we all have these big long lists of things that we need to do but until we time block it and we schedule it it doesn't become real and it's much less likely to happen so what i want to share in this video is how to make sure that you time block and schedule the things that you know that are important to make sure you accomplish them so let me ask you a question first have you ever set out to do something um, whether it's a goal or um, something in your life that you wanted and for some reason it just didn't happen so let's say you wanted to you know uh, do lead generation like I want to be a lead generating machine I'm gonna lead generate I'm gonna lead generate I'm gonna lead generate I'm gonna find properties to buy and then what happens a month goes by a year goes by and you haven't generated anything and you know why it's because you haven't time block and you haven't scheduled the things that are important so let's talk about that let's talk about how you schedule and how you time block the things that are important so first of all you need to be consistent with it so for me i like to every sunday before i start my week i like to time block my weeks what are the things that i need to do every single week to make sure that i'm achieving my goals now i can look at my calendar and there's things that are already time blocked every single week they're consistently on my calendar every single week there's times where i work out there's times in the morning in fact i uh, i i take an hour to myself every single morning to meditate to work out to do the things that i know help me personally develop and builds the foundation for the day so that i'm ready to go during the day and hopefully that's for you hopefully that's something you do yourself if it's not you need a, you need to time block many other things to make things happen um, to me that's the foundation is is getting up and not checking emails not getting on social media doing nothing with electronics unless your meditation is on your phone or you know something like that or your audiobook you know audiobooks are, are fine for that time in the morning for me it's part of my personal time and development um, but you need to make sure that you put on your calendar the things that you need to do and not only do I do workouts in my hour in the morning on my calendar but I also have a time for financials you know financials I know are important to me um, they're not something I like to do in fact some of the things that you don't like to do are the things you probably need to time block the most so I dedicate Thursday first thing in the morning after I do my mornings for myself to do financials I time block Tuesday morning to do the same thing or to not to do the same thing but do marketing but similar fashion first thing in the morning to me are the times that my mind is the most sharp so those are the times that I time block to do the important things. I shoot videos in the first thing in the morning. I do marketing first thing in the morning. I do financials first thing in the morning. I, do, I go to my to-do list and find something that's really hard, something that um, I don't want to do or something that I know is very important that's going to bring the most results and make sure I do that first. Because what happens is you do that first thing in the morning, your mind's going to go, wow, everything else from here forward is easy, right? You do the hardest thing first thing in the morning then everything after that becomes a lot easier all right so be consistent with it you need to I just talked about it do it weekly do it on a weekly basis um, you probably also want to do some bigger goals on a monthly quarterly and yearly basis but we're talking about just everyday kind of projects activities sit down on a weekly basis whatever time is good for you Sunday is great for me if uh, the middle of the week is good for you and you want to revisit your goals and then set them for the next week that's fine um, just pick a day and make sure it's consistent you need to time block your time blocking let's just put it that way schedule and time block your time to schedule and time block got it all right you need to have reminders set reminders for yourself for me my reminders are my time blocking you know uh, Sunday at a certain time I put on my calendar that I need a time block and I don't necessarily do it the same time every Sunday even though I, I try to but my wife and I we are very active we you know we do a lot of activities so 
Um, as long as I have that alert on my phone on a Sunday, I know I'm gonna get it done on Sunday. And I time block a certain time for that and sometimes I have to push it back a little bit and sometimes I do it first thing in the morning. In fact, that's the best time for me to do it is first thing in the morning just to make sure that I get it done and it's out of the way. So, you need to have reminders. And one of the last things I'll say about scheduling and time blocking is chunk your tasks together. So for finances, uh, financials, for instance, back when I used to write all my own checks and I used to do the books, I used to chunk all of my checks together. I would chunk all of my uh, uh, bank statements, uh, balancing bank statements, paying credit cards, that type of thing, Thursdays at eight o'clock, right? And I still do financials Thursday at eight o'clock, but I do it differently. I just analyze financial statements. I have my team that writes all the checks, that balances all the books. I just read the financial statements once a week, make sure we're on track and know where we're at in any given week. And so uh, the point is, is to take marketing for instance. If you have a thought about a Facebook ad, rather than just jumping into it and start doing it, do it on Tuesday. Do it on Tuesday at eight o'clock. And it's same thing then. Same thing there. I used to dive into marketing and do those types of things um, uh, Tuesdays at 8 o'clock. Now I just analyze the numbers. Okay, how many calls did we get from TV? How many calls did we get from radio? What was our return on investment? You know, what are those things on in marketing that I need to look at and measure? And if you're in marketing and you're actually doing the marketing, it's what Facebook ads do I need to create? What Facebook ads do I need to take down because they're not converting? What um, Google pay-per-click ads do I need to put up this week? And chunk those tasks together so that we get them done more effectively. Whereas if you do an hour of Facebook here, an hour of Facebook there, you may have five to 10 hours of marketing you do in a given week, but if you sit down and laser focus on it for two hours, you may cut that five to 10 hours down into two hours. So what I want you to do right now is to write down the things that you need to do in order to achieve your goals, in order to achieve the things that you want. You know, put them in your schedule, time block them, set alerts, do them weekly, and do them consistently, okay? So remember, anything that's important, if it's in your calendar, it doesn't exist. And you can also take your to-do list and put it in your calendar. You can take anything that's important, anything that, even though there's, there's some things that aren't important, time block the non-important things. Time block the things that aren't urgent and aren't important and just do them once a week, you know? Because we all, we, we'll get online and do something. We'll all, you know, do these little things here and there that just have no value whatsoever, but you know that they need to be done. And I, I, I shouldn't say no value, but they don't bring the big returns, right? Like paying your bills and, um, you know, checking on, you know, something online. Just dedicate an hour to two hours every week to do those little things that you know don't bring the big results like lead generation do, like marketing do, like analyzing financials and things of that nature. So I hope this helped you. I hope it created some more clarity on how to fit more tasks into the week by time blocking them, chunking them, and making your week more effective by planning it. So go out there guys and make it happen. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this free training. If you liked it, which I hope you did, please share the link to this video on your Facebook page. And also you can go to this website right here and find out how we've built a seven figure automated real estate investing business and how you can start or automate your own investing business with the tools and systems that we have available. So like I always say, Take what you learn here and go out there and make it happen. So we'll see you guys on some future trainings.